Last week we were in the village of Norham, and if we look over to the north, across the Tweed, you'll see a church, which is Kirk Church, which is the one we know about the sea. It has an interesting story to its origination, for well, apparently King James IV of Scotland was uh, coming back from the battle of fighting at Norham Castle across the River Tweed when his horse fell and uh, in 1496 and he narrowly avoided being drowned and he put this down to where uh, the Virgin Mary said him and ordered a church to be uh, rebuilt on the grounds of an old church and this is where Kirk Church now is and it was originally called the Lady Kirk of Style. In the village of Lady Kirk, funnily enough, which was originally called Upsetlington and then was the change to uh, uh, Lady Kirk. But this is just over the other side from Norham, which we visited last week, and it's a fascinating church by the design of it. The church represents a uh, really good complete example of the final Gothic architecture in Scotland. There's cruciform plan and north and south aisles with a semicircular hospital plan. And as we can see, looking down the nave, some interesting organ pipes and the shapes of an angel's wings, which is quite uh, a fabulous uh, and unique design. This is a toilet, but uh, uh, originally you imagine leads also access to the tower, probably some, from some other door. And go back down towards the chancel, the massive uh, windows bringing so much light because of, especially the curvature of the transepts which are quite interesting with the, the curved uh, ends and a little stained glass some interesting features within the church just looking at it which are quite unique And it's in a uh, picture of the Last Supper, which is more like a metallic design. And this interesting chest here, apparently from Liverpool, by what it says. And this is apparently a parish chest, dated from 1651. And some lovely Victorian stone glass, stained glass. <laughs> Well, it's the curved designs I love, both inside and out, and it's very minimalistic. And there's a nice little font there. Some interesting and unique facts about this church. It's the only surviving church built by a monarch. And it's also the nearest Church of Scotland to the Church of England, a matter of yards from the border. Although there's Churches of Scotland in which we've seen in Newcastle, this is actually in Scotland itself. And coming back down the nave again, some wonderful pipe organs. And interestingly enough, we'll have a look at the vestry, or more like the storeroom. Well, it's still a pretty church. Well, I think it needs a cleaner in. <laughs> Would help. And outside, that's quite a large graveyard, actually. And there's the tower. But uh, well worth a visit. So you've got two churches on either side of the River Tweed and the border of Scotland and England. So if you're up near Berwick and Tweed sometime, do pop along and have a look. Hope you enjoyed this video, and please like. Subscribe and continue to watch for some more fascinating churches to surprise as me as well as yourselves. Bye for now.